Winter break is over and a lot of schools across Arizona from Chandler to Mesa are bringing kids back on campus tomorrow and tonight the battle over online versus in person learning could end up in court. Hundreds of parents up in Flagstaff say they're ready to sue if the district doesn't reopen their classrooms. So those parents say their children are suffering as a result of months of remote learning at home. Monica Garcia talked with both sides of this rather heated debate these days, Monica. Yeah, that's right. And parents have just sent a letter to Flagstaff Unified School District administrators pleading with them to do something, come up with a way for kids to return to classes. All the while, the district says, hey, they're just following state health metrics, which are still recommending, by the way, we stay virtual in all counties, including Coconino. It's an argument we've seen time and again during the pandemic. Parents versus educators. Only this time, parents are ready to sue to save their kids. I kept hearing the same story from friends whose children had never had any sort of behavioral or emotional issues before, uh, really, really struggling. Brielle Kennington says all three of her children started showing signs of depression within months of going remote under the Flagstaff Unified School District's distance program. Daily meltdowns, crying, um, headaches. And she believes she's not alone. One friend said she found her daughter in the fetal position in the closet. Another friend, her son has bald spots from him pulling his hair out during Zoom calls. Brielle and 500 Flagstaff parents sent this letter to administrators demanding the district return to in-person or consider a hybrid option. We felt like we didn't really have another choice. Their attorney, Elliot Alford, says the district is unlawfully discriminating based on location. You have schools that are open in Phoenix with the same exact COVID numbers, and you have schools that are closed in Flagstaff. The district, which has around 9,500 students, says it would like to return to classes, but not when COVID cases keep soaring. They sent us this statement in part, quote, the district has received a copy of the letter from Alfred Law and will continue to make decisions regarding a return to in-person learning based on health metrics to ensure the safety of students, families and team members. The numbers in our community continue to rise far beyond these thresholds. So I feel like we are in order to save a vulnerable population, we are sacrificing another. Meanwhile, the parents and their attorneys say if the district doesn't start showing that they're making an effort to reconsider the model, they have no choice but to move forward with this lawsuit. In Phoenix, I'm Monica Garcia with Arizona's Family.